Hello, this is Tom from Never Center. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features in Pixel Mash 2021.5. Um, and the main features in this release, there are some bug fixes uh, that are handy, but the main um, feature releases are a new drop shadow and glow effect that you can get here from the add effects menu. So I'll just um, walk you through both of those effects and how they work. Uh, we'll start with the glow effect. So in this document, I've got these different gems that have different glows applied to them. Uh, you can see with this background sort of uh, light shaft that this glow is, um, it's using opacity. So let me just show you um, the effect. So let's start, let's start with the blue gem actually. So you can see if I turn glow on and off, what uh, the effect is actually doing. Um, now you can see the effect, first of all, has a color setting, so you can change the color to whatever color glow you want. Um, but I want that to be blue for my blue gem. Um, and you can uh, change the pixel radius. So the radius on the distance on some other effects is set in terms of document dimensions, but we decided um, for these effects to use a pixel radius because often you want to define that very exactly. And so um, this allows you to set your pixel radius to whatever. Whoops, I just said it the same thing. So if I set it to four or 20, um, then you can change the radius of that. Now this division slider is relative to the pixel radius. So you'll notice if I turn this down, it's the same radius, but it's got fewer divisions between the color bands, the opacity bands really. So if, if I turn, turn this all the way up, then it's, uh, you know, it doesn't look very pixel arty, but um, then you have the full sort of uh, resolution of those divisions. But um, again, this is relative to the size of the radius. And so um, always fully to the right, uh, it will basically basically be as many divisions in color as the radius and then all the way to the left will just be one. Now um, the next uh, slider down is opacity. Uh, that one's pretty self-explanatory. This fall off one is kind of interesting. So um, you'll notice as I slide this fall off left and right it's like sort of pushing the um, fall off of the glow effect outwards or inwards um, so that you can adjust that exactly how you like and oftentimes it will you know glow more close to the object than away but sometimes you want it to sort of the glow to fill more of the space and fall off at the edges um, so anyway uh, that's a fun one to play with so you can see like on this red gem uh, I've got it fairly high divisions but I've got the fall off pushed more towards the right hand side so that it's closer to the object where the fall off happens rather than further away. Um, and with this green gem, yeah, similar things. Um, and then the, uh, the final setting in this effect is outer or inner and inner glow. It's kind of hard to see on these ones. Let me set this pixel radius to like three and maybe I should change the glow to a different color. Let's, let's try. See what will show up. Maybe a blue, so we get a little bit of purpley on here. Um, but anyway, it just makes the glow go towards the middle interior of the object rather than the exterior. Um, so you can have inner or outer glow. Anyway, so that's the glow effect. Um, the other one that I want to show you, let me grab the file is the um, drop shadow effect and uh, so here's a hamburger splayed out um, and if I go to this burger layer um, this actually has several sub layers but it's applying this drop shadow effect to all of those sub layers so um, pretty self-explanatory you've got a direction to be able to control where your shadow is falling, um, a distance. So that's basically how far offset this is from the object itself. Um, and let's put that back to, I think it was eight. Um, 
and then you've got a soft radius. So between the sort of default full opacity of the shadow, which is partial opacity that you can set right here, make it more or less opaque. Um, but between that and where the shadow ends is your sort of fall off range. And um, so if I set this soft radius to three, it will use three pixels, one, two, three, for the distance of that fall off, or four, one, two, three, four. And it's this, a similar thing with the divisions. If I put the divisions all the way up, then it will do a fully sort of um, smooth transition using as many different levels as there are uh, pixel in the pixel radius. But I can turn this down to make it sort of look more pixel arty. Um, so for whatever I'm going for, uh, I can adjust, dial it in with that. Um, and like I said, opacity um, and, whoops. And then this last uh, setting is shadow only. And so that will remove all of the objects that are uh, in that layer and only draw the shadow. And that can be handy if you want to make a separate shadow sprite for something that can, uh, you know, move around and be different places relative to your character in your game or whatever. Um, but you can get some really neat effects with this and with the glow effect. Um, and we hope that you'll enjoy them. And please leave a comment or uh, send us an email and let us know. You can use this... Um, help send feedback link to give us feedback and give us ideas or things you'd like us to tweak with this. And we hope you'll enjoy it. Thanks.